Hey everyone, I am Rishika Sharma. I hope you are doing well in this pandemic situation. Uh, I am from India. In India, one of the biggest lockdown is going on presently. And I am one of the person who is stuck in that lockdown far from my home. So I am unable to make a video for you guys. But uh, I make a recorded uh, a speech in audio mode. So I hope you will enjoy this. First of all, I would like to thank you for this wonderful opportunity. I am very grateful. It has been a great pleasure for me to be with you all. Share my experiences and learn from yours. I am glad to be a part of this event. I, and I think this type of events are very necessary in the situation to stay connected. So thank you so much for this opportunity. I would like to share my story and my work with all of you today. Well, I think I'm just a privileged middle class individual belongs from India. There is nothing special or extraordinary about me. I received good food, good education, clean air and water and a nice family. I am privileged uh, and I think everybody on the planet deserves the same. But I saw people living in the worst condition in India. Not in India but in the entire world. Small children doesn't have any access of education, they don't have clean water for drink, they don't have any resources for a sustainable life. I saw thousands of farmers attempted suicide in India due to crop, crop failure, poor governmental policy, less market connectivity and so uh, much loan burdens. One of the main reasons in farmer suicide in India that rural people doesn't have any strong market linkages and knowledge of new technology in agriculture field. I am I am also belong from a rural area and I saw these conditions in front of my eyes. Uh, in my childhood, I always knew something was wrong. I always had this type of question. Like, who is going to change that? Who is going to take the responsibility? So, that time I decided to do something for farmers. But till then, I have no idea what I will do and how I will do. So, I completed my graduation in the stream uh, of field of forestry and natural resources with the major subject of agroforestry. After this, I completed a small diploma named Chartered Forester. I learned about green entrepreneurship and green marketing. Uh, my agroforestry background was always so um, strong. And after uh, completion of this chartered forestry diploma, now I have little bit knowledge about finance and economics. So I started to preparing a, a different agroforestry model for farmers with no cost. I prepared economically feasible agroforestry models for farmers that add extra value in their income. I started to guide them. I also started to connect uh, with various industries that will buy these farmers' products. But that was not sufficient. I wanted to provide my models to more farmers, so I started my job as a government employee in a forest department so I can reach out to more farmers. Presently, I am writing various brochures and publication about these models so every farmer can get benefited from them. I am presently doing that job. My other task than preparing this model is to writing agroforestry policy for Maharashtra that is one of the uh, state in India. Now I will give you some knowledge about in national uh, agroforestry of India. India is the first country in the world that adopts an agroforestry policy. This policy agenda is to increase present forest cover up to 33% till 2030. This policy provides various benefits to farmers such as easy access of quality planting material and the national certification scheme for their products and good amount of incentives for adopting agroforestry. Now, various Indian states are also preparing to adopt state agroforestry policy to achieve the agenda of national agroforestry policy as soon as possible. Agroforestry is the climate smart agriculture that is effective on climate change and mitigation as well as a 
crucial component to the farmers who has small land holdings by enhances their food supply, their income and their health. All agroforestry systems represent a commitment to bringing sustainable development to agriculture production. As trees are the fundamental components of many ecosystems, their integration in a farming is a win-win situation for everyone. National Agroforestry Policy in India was launched on 10 February 2014 with the objective of establishment of institutional setup at the national level to promote agroforestry under the mandate of the Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India. This policy simplifies regulations related to harvesting, felling, and transportation of trees grown on farmland. It ensures security of land tenure and creating a sound base of land records and database for developing and market information system for agroforestry. It investigates in research, extension, and capacity building and related services. It also access, provides access to uh, quality planting material. Uh, it provides, provides institutional uh, credit and insurance cover to agroforestry practitioners. It increased part, uh, participation of industries dealing with agroforestry produce and strengthening uh, a market information system for tree products. The vision of agroforestry policy in India is that land across India is healthy, productive and profitable, that no farmer will ever think about committing suicide because of low production and low income and to increase the present forest cover up to 33% in India till 2030. National Agroforestry of India has majorly three goals. The first is uh, setting up a National Agroforestry Mission or an Agroforestry Board to implement the national policy by bringing coordination, convergence, and synergies among various elements of agroforestry uh, secured in various existing mission programs, schemes, and agencies pertaining to agriculture, environment, forestry, and rural development sector of the government. The second major goal of this policy is improving the productivity, employment, income, and livelihood opportunity of rural households, especially of the smallholder farmers through agroforestry in India. The third and the last major objective of this policy is to meeting the ever increasing demand of timber, food, fuel, fodder, fertilizers, fibers and other agroforestry products, conserving the natural resources and forest, protecting the environment and providing environmental security and lastly increasing the forest cover up to 33%. Free land size in India and also in the world is shrinking due to growing population. Agroforestry can play a crucial role in sustainable land management because it is the most effective land management practice in the world that is also economically feasible for farmers and address various issues such as it improves soil physical properties, it maintains soil organic matters, it promotes nutrient cycling, it fills the demand of fuel wood, firewood and fodder, it increases the income of farmers and rural people, it also reduces the biotic pressure on existing forest. It obtained the maximum output in terms of yield from the same piece of land. That is quite interesting. It, um, it developed the wasteland and degraded land. It reduced environmental pollution. It reduced soil erosion. It um, uh, provided uh, available. It provide raw material for wood-based industries. And also it creates opportunity for employment and increased crop production. I think... Agroforestry can address majorly three types of issue in India as well as in the world that are developmental issue in any country, climate change and climate change mitigation and climate change adaptation. Agroforestry is a comprehensive approach with the potential of making very significant and lasting difference in the near future and over the long run. We have limited resources on earth and we have to use them sustainably every living creature have equal rights on them as a youth 
the responsibility in our hand to create better environment for next generation now the time is not for blame anybody for this but to start doing your part of part of work with least resources you have we have a long way to go so don't be tired i am doing my part of work and i hope you guys are doing your part of work with the platform like this we youth have no boundary issue we can connect and share anytime we want so guys this is my story i hope you find it beneficial and now i would like to listen to yours thank you for your patience and be safe in this pandemic situation thank you so much